I'm going to give an overview of Boston Dynamics and explore what we can expect from them in the future. We have all seen Boston Dynamics video of Atlas doing backflips by now, and like you, I can't get enough of Boston Dynamics. They're my favorite company, not named SpaceX, Google, or Apple. I was so pumped when Japanese telecom giant SoftBank purchased Boston Dynamics because SoftBank's founder and CEO Masayoshi Sun's vision is to create a society that coexists with intelligent robots. I made a video covering SoftBank's purchase of Boston Dynamics in more detail, so if you want to learn more about that, click on the notification card at the top of the screen. Even though Boston Dynamics has made robots that are absolutely incredible, in the 25 years since its founding, it has yet to create any commercial products. Well, Boston Dynamics create something worth selling let's find out welcome to neoscribe research in the future for you so you don't have to if you're new to my channel i cover topics such as space exploration robotics and all things future so if you want to learn how cool life will be like in the future hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out all right the story of boston dynamics begins with mark raybert raybert is a former professor at mit where he was one of the world's leading authority in legged locomotion legged locomotion was one of the least developed areas of robotics in the 1980s when Raybert developed the first self-balancing hopping robot which was a significant step forward in robotics. He wrote a book based on his self-balancing robots in 1986 titled Legged Robots That Balance. That book lays the fundamental groundwork in legged locomotion and addressed the possibility of building useful legged robots that run and balance. The book is out of print at this time but I came across an excerpt with interesting diagrams of his study. Mark Raybert's early Early work at MIT with one-legged hopping robots was the beginning of what turned into Boston Dynamics when he founded the company in 1992. By 2005, Boston Dynamics created Big Dog. Big Dog is a four-legged robot funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA for short. Big Dog was created in the hopes that it would be able to serve as a robotic pack mule to accompany soldiers in terrain too rough for conventional vehicles. It stands 3.2 feet or 1 meter tall, weighing 240 pounds or 109 kilograms and can carry 99 pounds or 45 kilograms. Big Dog was eventually discontinued since it was powered by a gasoline engine, it was too noisy to be used in combat. In 2006, they built Rise, another DARPA funded robot. Rise is a vertical climbing robot measuring 9.6 inches or 25 centimeters long, weighing 4.4 pounds or 2 kilograms. Its feet are equipped with micro claws allowing it to climb on textured surfaces at a speed of 1 foot per second or 0.3 meters per second. Then they built Little Dog in 2007, which was also funded by DARPA. Little Dog is small, measuring 11 inches or 30 centimeters long, 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters tall, and weighs 4.9 pounds or 2.2 kilograms. Little Dog's specialty is being able to sense its surrounding and avoid dangers. Also in 2007, they created the DARPA-funded Rex. Since 2007, Rex has been upgraded over the years. It's a six-legged robot that can move over just about anything. Rex has the ability to climb on rocks, mud, sand, vegetation, railroad tracks, and up slopes and small stairways. Rex chassis is completely sealed, allowing it to be fully operational in damp, wet, muddy, or swampy conditions. It is controlled remotely from an operator at distances up to 700 meters. Then, around 2009, Boston Dynamics completed the Petman prototype. Petman was the first anthropomorphic robot, meaning it moves just like a real person. It was designed for testing chemical suits to see how the suits reacted when exposed to chemical warfare agents. Then, in 2012, they completed Sandflea. Sandflea is another DARPA-funded robot. It's small, weighing 11 pounds or 5 kilograms, and is capable of jumping 30 feet or 9 meters into the air and up to 25 times per charge. Following Sandflea, in 2013, Boston Dynamics completed the original Atlas. The original Atlas was based on what they built and learned from building Petman. Then, in 2016, they unveiled the next generation Atlas, measuring 5 5 feet or 1.5 meters tall and weighing 165 pounds or 75 kilograms. Atlas is designed to walk over rough terrain including slippery snow. 
It can also pick up boxes and has incredible balance. And then 2017 was a busy year for Boston Dynamics. They released the robot Handle in February. Handle is super versatile, having legs and wheels. It measures 6.5 feet or 2 meters tall, weighing 231 pounds or 105 kilograms. It can pick up heavy payloads, travel up to 9 miles per hour or 14.5 kilometers per hour, and can jump 4 feet or 1.2 meters high and has around a 15 mile range per charge. Then they released the new version of Spot Mini, which evolved from the original Spot that was a culmination of what they learned from Big Dog, Cheetah, and LS3. Spot Mini stands 2.7 feet or 0.84 meters tall and weighs 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. Spot Mini is an all electric robot and has about a 90 minute charge and is the quietest robot they have built so far. Lastly, on November 16th, they released a video of Atlas going completely ninja, hopping on boxes, doing backflips, absolutely impressive. So let's take a step back and look at the big picture. From Mark Raybert's MIT hopping robot in the 1980s all the way through Next Generation Atlas, Raybert and Boston Dynamics have laid the foundation and established the fundamentals and legged locomotion over the last 30 years. And now Boston Dynamics is improving the robots at a faster rate than ever before. Just over the past eight years, they started with Petman in 2009 to the original Atlas in 2013, and then to Next Gen Atlas in 2016, and finally full Ninja Atlas. But what can we expect from Boston Dynamics in the future? Raybert let us know what to expect from Boston Dynamics at Saudi Arabia's Future Investment Initiative, and this happened back in late October. The Future Investment Initiative was a major investment conference aimed at shining a spotlight on Saudi Arabia's efforts to lessen its reliance on oil revenue, to diversify its revenue streams, and overhaul its economy and society. When Raybert spoke at the conference, he gave us clues on what we can expect from his company. Our idea is to try and build robots that can do uh, everything that people and animals can do. So our job is to build robots that have mobility, dexterity, perception, and autonomy. I happen to believe that robotics will be bigger than the internet. The internet lets every person reach out and touch all the information in the world. But robotics lets you reach out and touch and manipulate all the stuff in the world. Here are some of the things that we can think of already that people uh, can already do, but uh, that robots can't do yet, uh, but they will. Uh, one is entertainment, can make theme parks where we recreate the dinosaurs or uh, really the possibilities are endless. We could use robots to, that deliver packages to your house or handle them in warehouses uh, or in factories. I won't go through all of these, you know, there's security, emergency response. I think construction is a really important one and we're pretty starting to work with construction companies to figure out how to use robots to help. But I think one of the most important applications will be taking care of people. And I think someday robots will help us take care of our uh, elderly parents, or in my case, they'll help my children uh, take care of me. Raybert did not provide a timeline on when Boston Dynamics will build robots that will be commercially available to perform useful functions, so we'll just have to wait and see. Another topic that will impact Boston Dynamics is Saudi Arabia's plan to build a $500 billion futuristic megacity called Neom that will likely be populated by more robots than humans. Prince Mohammed bin Salman said that Neom will be full of drones and be a center for the development of robotics. Mark Raybert said that Neom will be a key factor in pulling smart robotics forward. So there you have it. There is so much in store for Boston Dynamics Future, and I hope they can create a commercial robot in the near future. But I want to hear from you. When do you think Boston Dynamics will finally create a commercial robot? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're interested in space exploration, robotics, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe, and this is the end of our journey.